Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna to look at Pantheon from Third Way Industries. What is Pantheon? Pantheon is just like it sounds. You know what Pantheon is? It's the entire family uh, of gods. And so this is a deck of cards that uh, is themed after the Greek gods. And uh, like I said, it's been released from Third Way Industries. It was one of their Kickstarter projects and it was successfully funded. Uh, they also did a deck a little while ago. It was called Dadalo. This is kind of like uh, the part two of it or the second version of it. The tuck case is done in two different foils, you can see, uh, one gold, one purple, uh, and it's the, really the, the foil that is the uh, color on here. There's really no inks, and it's all done on this black matte paper. The front of the tuck case says Pantheon, uh, kind of like a Jewish star there, but I'm sure it's not Jewish since it's a Greek, <laughs> Greek-inspired deck, uh, but even has some like Egyptian-looking uh, uh, wings there in the background, lightning bolts, but of course these are all images that represent the different uh, Pantheon of gods. Both sides the tuck case say Pantheon. The top doesn't have anything on it but design work, but you do have a custom red tuck seal with the Aegis shield. Uh, and if you don't know what that is, uh, in the book, the Iliad, both Athena and Zeus carry the shield. We're not really sure what the nature of the shield is, but um, people have interpreted it as some sort of animal skin. The bottom has some ad copy about Third Way Industries and the expert playing cards. And the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The tongue flap has uh, some Roman numerals there. And then the inside tuck liner is all done in a beautiful red metallic. And then you're also gonna have those decorative stars on the two small tongue flaps as well. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come printed from the Expert Playing Card Company and they are beautifully stunning with gold foil on the back design all over. Isn't that cool? Uh, a lot of people always ask how these cards feel and how they handle. Best thing I can do is measure them for you. I can put them into a caliper. I use 10 as my go-to, that's my standard. And then I compare those against other decks in my collection and then just give you an idea of how they would feel if you purchased them. So 10 of these in the caliper comes to 2.99. Uh, that's right on the cusp of you know what we would think of as a casino grade stock. Uh, they're about the same thickness as the honeybees, the bloodlines, and the arcana. Give you a nice close-up of that back design there. It's all done in that solid gold foil and you can see that um, the design kind of breaks the boundary of the border and that border is that deep purple. You're gonna find that deep purple on the face as well, so that will make uh, hiding reverse cards very easy for magicians. With this deck, you're gonna get three jokers. Uh, originally, when the Kickstarter came out, uh, there was only two, and one of the jokers, the third joker, was a stretch goal. Um, these are the images of Apollo, Artemis, and Persephone. Your aces are full of symbolism, and they will give you kind of an interpretation about how the rest of the suits play out. The diamonds represent uh, the gods of art and growth and glory. Hearts are gonna represent passion, emotions, and pleasure, of course. The clubs represent wisdom and genius, and the spades uh, are the power of the gods themselves. The pips and indice cards, uh, the red suits, of course, are red, and the black suits are gold. Uh, the pips all have a design that, if you look closely at them, uh, represents kind of like an explosion of light. And there's even a watermarked uh, frame image behind the center pips. Um, the clubs and spades that are the black uh, inks normally, uh, these are all done with that same gold metallic ink. And everything, like I said before, is on this dark violet background. The court cards are all beautifully stylized. I think uh, Third Way Industries has a really cool eye, a really great looking graphic. Um, and if you look at all of these, they're all modeled after different Greek gods. You're gonna see Zeus and Hera and Poseidon, Demeter, Ares, Athena, Hades, and a whole lot more. All right, so that's my review of the Pantheon cards from Third Way Industries. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you wanna follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks, bye.